Hello and welcome back. So it is time to learn how to fly. Read mail. Okay, read it, please. Uh, who is it from? Helen Thistlewood. Uh, greetings. I'm happy to report that my sister Helen survived a sudden attack in Azkaban. She said that she does not hold a grudge against Am. As terrible as the violence was, after seeing the conditions in Azkaban and you, Helen said it's no wonder Anne's mind is so far gone. It seems you found Jake Doll's ghost and told him about Am. Helen wanted you to know that he's evident that he has evidently promised to work with the Ministry and Helen to see what, if anything, can be done for her. Well, that's good. She looks really bad. She looks like a, she looks like a bad guy. Not sure why. But let's begin. Everybody, grab a broom, and we shall get started. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Yay! Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. Are we natural? Uh -huh. up. Of course we are. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. If you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Hmm, sure. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. This will take some I want them to. returned in one piece. I can't look up or down. I'm getting the hang of this. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Sure. Uh, still can't this look up or down. This set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What have you? Hello. Nice day for a flight. Sure. <laughs> Good, I've got this. Can we go even faster? Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. It is kind of annoying that I cannot look up. It's very jarring. Come look left and right. Aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. Yeah, that doesn't look safe. Doesn't look safe at all. This is rather fun. I really wonder why it just can't let you fly the direction you're facing. Ah, 
I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't probably met. I'm Everett Clopton. You sound like I'm an right idiot. I'm suspecting that a Hufflepuff like you might be interested in some high-flying fun. Uh, yeah, sure. Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. Let's go. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. I mean... Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. <sighs> How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you okay. need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. Wee. I mean, look at it. Wee. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying dips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. Hey, Quidditch fields. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Yeah, let's go. Okay, can we stop? Okay, stop. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Eh, points. Mr. Who cares about Clopton, the points? I'm disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. I think she has a favorite. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. Hmm. I have no regrets at all. It was worth losing a few house points for that detail. Exactly. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. All right. That was cool. So now, where do we go? Um, let's see what the quests say. Um, fire and use a focus potion. Oh, what? Legendary mask? Okay. Aren't we full? Just gonna get rid of this stupid hat. Um, yeah. 
I think we... Oh. Let's use this one. I've not forgotten about it. Oh. Library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Yeah. <laughs> What's Please he doing? Me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies away from prying eyes and distractions. Ooh. Acquire and use a focus potion. Do I actually have a focus potion? Do I? Let's choose. Wait, maybe I should go to potions first to check. Because I think I can make them. Remember, no, potions, potions, potions classroom. Surely those were curd or. Not so fast. Let's go. Interest potion. Hmm. Focus potion. Maxima and interest potions. Okay. Um, so maybe I should go first to Hawksmeat. To buy the recipes. Where is the potions dude? Magic neep. Seeds and fertilizer. Olivanders. Potions. I would assume it's like a cauldron or something. Strange. I'm pretty sure. Ah. It was below the other thing. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. Alright, and do you sell the recipes? What can I do for you today? Mm, focus potion recipe 12 pound. Oh. They are quite expensive. Yeah. Oh, wise decision. First. Thank you. And let's sell everything else in the meanwhile. And very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished.
All right. And then focus potion. A wise decision. Yes. Thank you. I hope right. to see you again. So You're what well do you need help now. with? What is this delivery? Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. Mm, she does sound annoying, but I'm happy to help you, yes. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. That sounded strangely sexual. Um, you do you, bro. How far is it? Oh, very far. Do I have... Uh, world map. Oof, that's a long way off. Man. Can I? I think I saw a broom shop earlier. No? Three broomstick. No. Wizard wear. Sporting good shot that sells a variety of brooms. Yes. Uh, nope. Let's see. Am I even going the right direction? Uh, yes, to the end and then to the left a bit. Here. Brooms aplenty. Ah, new face. Hello. Spint witches sporting needs. Run by the am amiable Albie Weeks. The shop sells all manner of wizarding sporting goods, including the latest broom models. The gossip around town is that Albie himself is working on a number of broom enhancements. Okay. Can I steal from you? Unidentified neck item. How can I identify it? No idea. Let's see what this guy has. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Great. Uh, disrupted trade routes made you close. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close spin witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Uh, what else can you share about brooms? Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take Windwisps, well known for their quality ash handles. 
Yew weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the Yew Wan's darker reputation. Then you add the Ember Dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Okay, I'll have a look, yeah. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around, thank you. What can are we I looking for today? Can I get a cheap one? Oh. They're all... Hmm. The perfect broom for those with a fiery temperament. A broom enchanted to celebrate your particular Hogwarts house pride. Finely crafted from ash, this broom is built for stability. A stylish broom with a light touch, quite literally. Hmm. A comfortable and speedy broom with a unique woven design. That item is of the highest quality. Sure. Well, you're selling them, so... Must be true. That item is of the highest quality. I actually like this one. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Alright. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you! I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? I think that was a bunch of gibberish. Wow. Mm, he took Madame Kogawa's class. Sounds as though you took Kagawa's class. I did. But my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the cannons or puddle me united. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. So, the thing is that... I don't know what you're talking about. Why am I the right person for this? Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Invaluable. I don't know what he said, but... How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match. Seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. Okay, sounds for a try. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Hmm. Hawksmeat in certain other areas prohibit flying. Look for the no flying symbol. Can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. So, I do have a thing now.
Äh, Hogwarts. Okay, I can't. Yeah, just like that. And how do I get on my broom? That is the question. Is it B for broom? No. Let's see. Controls. Take off? Is that? <laughs> it's just jump. What? Jump, mount. Mounts, light up, faster, walk, boost, charge, take off, dismount, show controls. It doesn't. Potato. Okay. Be more fun if I could fly. Have you ever seen a professor? Oh, Black hasn't cancelled it. You wouldn't be looking for the glass. Hmm. Hey, you, Hufflepuff. That's me. Imelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Mm -hmm. mm. No, she doesn't sound jealous. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Wait, what? Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Hufflepuff. Yeah. Sure. What sort of courses are these? Can you tell me more about these courses? St stalling, fifth year. <laughs> Fine, I'll humor you. This course demands focus. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. The others test stamina. Three courses in all. Built ages ago by former students. Since Black cancelled Quidditch, it was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again. Got the whole school hungry to compete. So, let's see what you've got, fifth year. Hmm, she does sound like she has like an ego problem. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. So, I don't even know where I'm going.
Can I just only use my mouse? I wonder. I don't think so. This is rather fun. It is rather fun. You get penalty for miss rings? How can you even... Okay. How can you even miss a ring? Uh, that's not... You, you must have cheated, you... Uh, fine. You won. Easily. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible. But you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. I don't want your respect. Oh. I don't want respect from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, no, you're I'm moving toxic. on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. Mm. How do I f get on my broom? I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fed. I just want to be able to get on my broom. I mean... That's kind of the sole reason why I went to get it is so that I could use it to travel around. But if I can't just get on it, then it's kind of stupid. Just because you know the Doom Boss. Oh, you're back with something to report, I hope. Yes. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible. Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent and is wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Yeah, who has doubted you? Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? Oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways. Worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine, says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smevic had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. All right. Can't wait to hear more. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. And is he giving it to me How for to free? How the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Alright, so no flying, no flying, no flying. When I get over the bridge. See, and now I should be able to fly, no? Don't I have my. 
So yeah, I have it equipped. I don't... It, it never told me how to use it. What the hell? Um... What? So does it Okay, can play Mount. I'm assuming that it's a mount, right? Faster boost take off dismount I what is going on? Okay, that's annoying. Uh, so, what was I going to do next? Let's go and do the delivery. Demanding delivery. That is how far? 1800 meters. Okay, it's a little bit more to the south, right? It's like a place right out of a storybook. Do I? Well, that's stupid. Why would you do it like that? Well, I got one, so I guess it's fine. Whee! Stop. <laughs> okay, so my game just crashed. Uh, I don't even know where I am. Quests. Mm. This one was a train. I did figure out how to use my um my broom. So let's just zoom zoom. It's like an auto run. Like I tried to look at the controls and then my game crashed. Um, speed burst. All right. Okay. 
looks nice. And I reload. Pippin should have been here by now. Hey, I'm here. Madam Luong, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Yeah, why do you buy them then? Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Mm, okay. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Hmm. So, I just... I'd rather what? not, but if you insist, so be it. I do insist. Um, can I invisibility potion? Oh, that wasn't it. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er-do-well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. Sounds like I'll you're not jealous. give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. Jesus, she's uh, just awful. <sighs> Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. Yeah. And what do you have for sale? What do you sell? What are we looking for today? Mm. I have no money. Really? Is that it? That's all you have. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's take this flame. So we can at least come back here. You know, the Always been keen on Keenbridge. Hang on to your valuables. That's mm. all I'll say. Opa. What is it going to be this time? Oh god, what is going on? Mm. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Wait, what?
What is going on? Something about like this side, which makes like the changes the um, region element or something. <laughs> that's that's strange. Also, what am I supposed to be doing? Weren't there like these things that I should be lighting or something? I placed the thing, so now I lost it. One of the Merlin trials. Oh, is that one of them? Incendio. Oh. There is a bit more. What the shit? Sure, if I should have done this. Not sure if I was supposed to do this, but it worked. Where is the Merlin trial? This seems to be it, right? So, I can't even see where I'm supposed to be going. 
It was with, with the other one as well. There were like all these rocks. That's disgusting. <sighs> the barkeep in Keenbridge keeps a stock of ginger root handy to fend off his customers' nausea and keeps them imbibing a bit longer. Nothing whatsoever. Oh. Can I open the chest? Can we do... Do something. Come here, you. not have the right strength to do it because that's the idea right as opposed to pull the ball into the thing as opposed to pull it all the way over here it must be it do we have like spells that do the same thing but more powerful? Mm. Maybe it's that one. The pen, though. Rebellion. So we just eat everything. Okay. Jesus. Well, I think I know the idea. We can come back when we know the panda. Um. Yes. Where are we going? Oh, we can just go back with the map. Oh. Um, was it? Yes. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? I mean, she is difficult, I yeah. I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. Yeah. 
I <laughs> thank you, yeah. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. By the way, I found this book of potion recipes in Cambridge. Might it be useful to you? Is this Fatima's recipe book? Um, oh. I'm sorry. Oh, I had no idea it was hers. Some things are sacred amongst potioners. I shall return it to her immediately. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't have done it. So let's go back to potions and let's see if we can make some stuff. Um, no secret room, no potions class. Don't write down. Oh, wrong way. Boink. Don't mind me. Mm, address. We needed the focus potion. Looks sweet stem. Mm, Ashwinder axe, but we have Ashwinder axe. Was it a maximum potion? Now we can't remember. Um, Endurance potion and a maxima potion. Why do I need to complete these tasks again? Professor Weasley has asked that we all contribute extra time to help you catch up to your peers. And before I teach you to pulso, I must know that you are prepared to handle it. Okay. Revelio. Sounds fair. Professor Sharp's Otter Batch. Auras comprise the Ministry's magical law enforcement and protect the wizarding world from all sorts of threats, particularly those posed by dark magic. This Aura badge belongs to Professor Sharp. Hmm. Maxima Potion. So what do I need for... Uh, focus Potion. Edurus and Focus. Edurus. Ashwinder eggs. Fox with stem. Oh, okay. Let's see what our quests we have. We'll get uh, the materials. Ooh, the room of requirement. Let's do this one first. What is going on? 
tapestry of Barnabas the Barmy. This tapestry depicts a wizard Barnabas that Barmy's. Wow. This tapestry depicts the wizard the Barnabas the Barmy's foolish attempt to train trolls for the ballet. One can only imagine the impact on the arts had he succeeded. <laughs> Hello. Professor Weasley? <sighs> Somewhere away from prying eyes. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, <laughs> Professor. That's creepy as fuck. Oh my god. Why can't I have a house health? What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? Hmm, he must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Pavelio. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. And they just disappear? Okay, let's go. Opa. Evanesco. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Mm. The poof spell. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. I wonder if we can use some people. Can we just like Where disappear in people? Where name is that elf? Is that What's this? Oh goodness. My old school bag. Hey. I wonder hey, that for you here for ages. Perhaps you've assigned a few more inches here. of parchment than you expected. Take a quick look Let me know if you want to try to meet again sincerely. To explore See. on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. I wasn't listening, I was reading. What did you say? Keep it down. Some of us are trying to rest. Where's the light even coming from? Lumos. <laughs> what is she doing? That's cool. I definitely thought this was something. No, don't drink it. Why are you like this?
I think I am supposed to put in front, yeah. Can we go point, point, point? No. Oh, that works too. That's cool. Another unidentified item. What? Revelio. Oh. oh shit. Here, come here. Yes. Just like that. Solitarian robe. Oh, where did the box go? What? Okay. Wow. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Um, I'm an intruder. I'm not, uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. I was getting scared that it was gonna turn into like an actual enemy. Lumos, repair it. Nope. Wrong spell. Bit offended, the room thought I needed a bot. Cheeky thing. <laughs> oh. That's cool. Other than a house elf managed to get around in here. Rebellion. Nothing interesting. What was that? What was what? I didn't hear anything. Was that a golden snitch? Oh. Yeah. Perhaps yeah, cool. you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Hmm. Revelia. Ornate ebony gloves. Repair. Whoops. Accio. A bit more, please. to be here Rebellion Hmm Incendio Let's try to get over it first. No. No. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, come on. Arg, 
target a thing? Target the th Target the box, please. Levioso. Okay, so no. So how do you put it down again? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Can you please just fit through the hole? with me please there you go I don't know where we're going now but I mean I don't see any other way in Don't what? Is there a broom here maybe somewhere? Wait, can I use a broom in here? No. Maybe I'm just... Was that it? Really? Oh my god. Oh well. <laughs> Let's just continue. Oh wait, no. I came from here. I have to go this way. I think? No, I came from here. How long have I been in here? I can all turn around. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Yeah, me too. That's him. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. 
We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. We have Deke met before. It's right to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. So, is there a one room or more rooms? yourself quite a canvas to work with <laughs> I look forward to seeing what you do with the space ah and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description excellent it can identify unfamiliar items oh. of clothing one I needed that. always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed uh, yes please Identify gear. Hmm, all the little animations are so You'll cool. Find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Nice. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Yeah, just like that. Mm. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. No, oh, so you don't have to always go there then. Okay, that sounds cool. Where is the conjure spell? There you go. Not gonna need repair soon, I think. 
Opa. So, a potting table. Uh, a station. Oh. <laughs> They're all cool. I think I'm gonna pick the one with the skull. And just put it anywhere? Can I just go... Like... This? table botanical potions table oh these are the only the potion ones apology utility wall hangs holding table with a small pot so which one are we gonna pick No. I mean, it looks cool, but not what we're going for. That looks too much like a desk. I really like this one, actually. Yeah. Oh, it even tells you where they line up. Yeah, that's cool. That's the center. Let me do it like this. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. So that's the desk. Stack skull. So I can like find all these decorations. <laughs> That's really cool. Can we make them bigger? Smaller? Nice. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Okay. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook cranny and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Okay. Can I use transfiguration magic anywhere? Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. Mm. Thank you. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. All right. Freestanding light fixture. Oh, does she have a quest? Hey, wait. I have a. Oh, I have a light. So I can always come here, but it's not on the map, is it? Where am I? Oh, that's not what I'm going to do. Transfiguration courtyard. Arms class. Secret rooms. The map chamber? 
Have I been in the map chamber before? I still don't understand why does this take time. It's so stupid. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I have got enough. I got like 140 or something. I have something. the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Hmm... Conjure wall decorations. Uh, oh shit. How did that? Oh, right. It's a spell. Yes. Mm, wall decorations. I have some mirrors. Hmm. Table space go. Oh, we can't put them on the on the walls. Okay. Um why do we have to put them down? Can we just go... Oh, maybe there's different floor decorations. Artwork. We can put the same one right next to it. Oh, that's a bit big. Mm, what is that? It's a bit... decorations. Do these count? Hmm. I don't know. But I'm like in the waiting area. Yes. Maybe do some real cool stuff. 
Good work. Shall we move on? Sure. Got some chairs. Get some paintings. Yes. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Okay. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. All right. Let's do this. Oh, the wall. Wow, that's fucking with my eyes. Holy shit. Oh, the size is changing. Uh, yes. That's cool. Alter the style of an item. Okay. Please get only the chair. Mm. Oh, yeah, I can make them wild. <laughs> I mean, why not, right? Mm. Change the color of an item. Actually, really cool. And they're just the size of an item. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Try aiming at the floor or at that balcony whilst using the altering spell. Oh my god. That is so cool. from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. I am ready. Let's show Professor Let's go. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Uh, I don't know. Dark and mysterious, sure. I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie. As if I'm in the forbidden forest, surrounded by shadows. Oh, sounds perfect. Ooh. Hmm. Quite a difference. Quite a difference of course, indeed. You needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Oh 
What is that? space how did that happen the room equips itself to your needs it must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting if you'd like to customize the space further you can use these spell crafts you'll find more of them both inside and outside the school thank you professor i shall keep an eye out good i'll leave you to it this is your space now use it wisely Hmm, now I kind of want to make sure, like, test out the uh, I'd like to ask you about parts. changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Let's just um, check all of them, right? Uh, cool and lit. I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. Okay. I really I'd like, like this. to ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Um, warm and cozy. I'm not sure what the, the first one was. It, it was probably warm and cozy because that was the only one that wasn't in the list. So. I'd like the room to feel natural and earthy, as though I'm outdoors. Oh, sounds perfect. Yeah, I think I think I like this one. This one is nice. Oh, so it keeps going. Okay. And I can only put down one? Or... Yes, I can. Still don't understand why they have a timer on it. So stupid. Okay. Let's check out our quests. So, what was the... In the shadow of the undercroft. Oh, right. I also wanted to check out what the... Um, what the other room was. I don't... Um, I don't remember anything about it. But we are now in the room of requirement. And the map chain. Oh! I remember. It's like the thing with all the paintings in it. Yeah. It's this thing. Can I go? I think I forgot to pick up like a lot of things here. I... If I remember correctly. Can get out. Okay. 
Meet Sebastian. Oh, there's so many people here. Wow. What? Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. Okay. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. The Undercroft. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never I confides will. in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Okay. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. Hmm. That's ridiculous. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Oh, um, yoink, 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 yoink. I'm not sure if they get, like, more difficult or something. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Yes. Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the under... Um, let's not use Expelliarmus. Confringo. Where are you, Confringo? Oh, Confringo. Mm, Akio. 
Oh, I do. Come the frame. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses. Fringo. Nice work. Oh. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. That's it. I think I've got it. Well done. Um, bumpers. Okay. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. Okay. Yeah. I'm ready for more spells like this. This is yeah. exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Yeah. I'd be glad Just to. let me know when, and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key. A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. Hmm, no. I mean, he is, um... He's trusting us, but I... But the, the, the problem with telling the truth to someone like this is that they don't necessarily want to tell anyone else, but happen to. Uh, like, people tend to be smart, right? So it's just always better to just not say anything. Even, like, hint at anything, because they will come to their own conclusions and then either make shit up, so just, yeah. No. The book I found in the restricted section was missing some pages. That's about it. Pity. Didn't think you'd disappoint me with so vague an answer. I suppose with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, a bit more time practicing the blasting curse is in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. I will. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Confringo! Oh, what's this? Revelio. More chests. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Um, I stumbled upon it. That room's called the Undercroft. Ah. Well, I was exploring and suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? No, he you didn't. You breathe a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Mm. 
Yeah, no need to trance. You threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian mm. is going to get an earful about this. Well, whatever, bro. Don't know why this is so, so important to you. Oh, we used the spears. Nice. Rebellion. I think I already got that one. Oh. Read mail. Come and see me as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the ministry, hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. It has. You've become a great wizard. I can hear whispers. Rebellia. Okay. See? Dang, that's so creepy. Oh. I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. Wait, what did I... What is this then? Levioso. Hmm. Okay. Then what is Swing Guardian Leviosa for? Oh. I see. Oh. Let's see I what this guy needs. I wonder if you needs. might be able to help me with a small uh project. Sure. You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello. I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. Mm. Yeah, why well, thank you. That's nice to hear. I've had my share of adventure. I hope my reputation's warranted. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class. And, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a, a puff scheme. Uh, what's a puff scheme? It can be scary. Yeah. Oh, they seem innocent, but their tongues can be most disturbing. Exactly. I wish more of our fellow students agreed with you. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. Mm, that's unkind. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Words can be cruel. Thank you. Poppy keeps offering to help me in overcoming my fear, but I'm too afraid to take her up on it. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think, since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. Ooh. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Yeah, I have to go there anyway. Um, I have to go see Professor Garlic. Um, yeah, Professor Garlic in assignment. Uh, oh, acquire and use a venomous tentacular. 
Do I have those? Um. Nope, nope. Okay, and how would I get one of those? Professor Garlic wants me to field test the Venom Stanticle and a Mandrake. Should I need any seeds or plants? I can visit Dogweed and Death Camp. I feel like I will not guide way through this assignment, but my map will still prove useful. Okay. Brothers Keeper. Bardolf allegedly practiced dark magic near the forest. I should start my search there. I don't want to have like all these quests going, so um... I will first do... Alright, this one. Um... I still don't get like what the, the thing is. Um, I have it... Which one is it? This one. The over the bridge, the ruins, the forest. I mean, I don't know what the clue is. Let's go do the hmm. thing first. Hidden herbology corridor. Sounds intriguing. Wow, it's just the, the, the hedge scissors fucking scared me. Oh. Bevelio. Whoa. Oh, I already opened it. No! Don't lock me in. So it's not here. <laughs> I like the armors. I don't think I've been here before. Level one law. Okay. I might have been here before with the, the candle slit. But maybe. It's moving. That's really cool. Nice. Revelia. Oh, I hear something. No. Okay. Hmm. Is it down? Okay, so I'm here. Yeah, I crashed again. Luckily, it uh, seems to auto save yeah. regularly. I don't know why. Like, it's. it's it was so stable so before. Never crashed once, and now today two times. Makes no sense. Rebellion. Hmm. 
Mm, what's this? These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. That's funky. This supposed to be. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. Confringo. Okay. I guess nothing. I got my own little chompers. This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Wow, these are old. Devil's snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Lumos. Devil's snare. Okay. Maybe I should keep Lumos on to be safe. Those new uh, gear. <laughs> Defense twenty five. But you're so. It looks so stupid. I'm not. Gonna, I'm just not gonna. Not gonna wear anything that looks so fucking hideous. I don't yeah. care if it's. Uh, yes, yes. Jump down. Don't care Lumos. if there's better stats or not. Would it actually damage me or something? Only in the in the I see those are only for the the other room. Can I have um, more slots? Which one was it again? The Master, Dark Arts, Stupefy, Blood Curse, mm -hmm. Core. New spell sets. And a new spell set. So I can at least... Move these here. And then have something useful. Oh. Oh, already got it? Something useful here. There is... Hmm. That's all the spells I can do? I think so, yeah. Uh, can you just go away? I 
Can you... Can I do this? Okay. Whatever. Lumos. Mm. Yeah. Let me Seems the Devil's Snare was protecting a chest of some kind. <laughs> Nocturnal Teal Ensemble. Let's see what that is. Things in outfit, right? Yes. Year 22. Extraordinary. Okay. Makes me look old, though. Looks interesting. No, nothing. Okay. Lumos. So we crashed again. That kind of sucks. I'm gonna Lumos. um stitch things together so when you see Let something funny going on Here. just assume that the uh, that it crashed so I don't Lumos. have to yeah. seems the devil's snare was protecting a chest of some kind Confringo. I don't have to say it every single time. Oh. Yo, please. Let's go. Oh. I did already get it. Okay. Nice. Let's go. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Yeah, I think so too. Can bring us Oh, let's go. There no. There you go. Wasn't there a one here? Money. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Lumos. Isn't there one right here? Yeah, I needed one of those. Or at least at least one of them, I think. Opa. I'm assuming they don't hurt me. Lumos. Identified head item. So we can only go this way. All right.
Oh yeah, it makes them swim around. All these small touches like make make it so cool. And like with the painting in the background, like yeah, like moving, like being afraid for the dragon. The dragon is sleeping. It's just so cool. Like so much effort put into all the little details. Repero. Don't know who keeps destroying you. Um, Leviosa? Leviosa. Yes. Have you found anything to, uh, prove my bravery yet? Sure thing, bro. Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Mm, yeah, happy to help tickets. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puff's in dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. Or you can just thank you for own all it. of your help. No more puff skiing dunking for me. Okay. Um Nope. So what was this? Acquire and use a venomous tentacula. Acquire and use a mandrake on multiple enemies simultaneously. I don't even have a mandrake, I think. Not this. I'm pretty sure I got the tentaculas. Hmm. So where did it go then? Tools, trades, ingredients, maybe? Ingredients, rooms, beasts, value pages, appearances, enemies. Yeah. Why don't I have them? Firefang, Moonstone, Mongol Fur, Mel Sweet Leaves, Tunnel Leaves, Tukbuk Tongue, Orclum Juice, Lacewing Flies, Leaping Toastal Caps, Leaves Juice. Very, very strange. Oh well. Let's go to the main next main quest. Let's go. Next main quest is 
Yes. Do the map chamber. This is the charms, uh, charms class. Mm, I don't need to be here, or do I? Pavelio. <laughs> Stealing some gold from the bathrooms. Very nice. I was hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Eldritch Diggory's portrait in the common room told me about his great niece, Helen. His great niece? Yes, she used to be an aura. Well, she took me to Azkaban to meet Anne Thisby. You went to Azkaban? Quite an experience, but you see, Anne knew Richard Jackdaw before he died. So I had to find his ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. Oh yeah, because uh, if you don't have the book, then you'll know that you're truly the the map chamber, a super the descendant. And a portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Ah, oh, Peeves. What do you mean, ah, oh, Peeves? Did he know Peeves? Intrepid travelers, the both of you. Keep your wits about you. Sure will. They left? This looks promising. It's stars? A map. There's Hogsmeade. And over here, the Forbidden Forest. And, of course, Hogwarts. It's magnificent. If 
If only you were here to see this. Doesn't look like the right mountains. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? Um, the pensive memory. Uh, I don't recall it fully. This is like meeting someone else, right? Just what this I young woman. I do recall seeing the memory, but I don't remember all of the details. My friend Charles and I spoke of the port key and of trials we created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Charles is another of the keepers. A designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. May or can? Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. I have. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. All right. Yeah, do you know anything about the tower? You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. Okay, so I didn't see that tower. I saw the other towers south of... Uh, they look very similar. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful and do not tell anyone where you're going. I 
like if you take the world map, like Hogwarts doesn't seem to be like that big into a mountain. Oh well. Um, Ghost of Arlo. Want animals. Arleg. Professor Sharp. Acquire Maxima and Edris potions. And use those sim -sim simultaneously. Mm. Acquire and use a focus potion. It's time you learned, Iglesias, the freezing spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. Once you've done that, come and see me. Always the tasks. Like why? Oh, here's the famous ten tentacula. And when deployed should acid at nearby enemies, venomous tentacula seeds can be purchased at dogweed. And that camp must be grown in large pots. Okay. Uh, what is this? Focus potion. Mandrake unlocked by acquiring mandrake seeds at dogweed and death camp. Dogweed. Where is dogweed? Dogweed and that camp. It shouldn't be that hard to find now, should it? So they oh, so you are supposed to pop them. Demi guy statues, Merlin trials, ninety-five Merlin trials. Jesus. Field guide pages. Well, I um. Forgot. Um, Jesus. So, um, focus potion, maxima, and Adderus potion. And I have one maxima potion, no focus potion, and one Adderus potion. So I need only a focus potion. Look, sweet stem. Let's go to Hawksmeat and purchase them. I think it's uh, Chip Pippins, right? Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawing. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. I bet. What can I do for you today? 
So I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Box potion needs flux sweet stem. Do you have any flux sweet stem? What can I do for you today? Mm, no. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Does it say where? Looks sweet stem. Is it only say this in um? Does it only say this in the potion crafting table? Where they are? Productions. Uh, ingredients. Look sweet. Uh, tall plant that produces stems used in focus potions. Look sweet seeds can be purchased from the magic neep. Must be grown in large pots. Magic leaf. And Hawkweeds. Magic leaf. Oh. Only the seeds? Come, come on in. Now, where, where was I? Right. Oh, yes. Oh, crap, smell of sweets. Ooh, so much stuff. Please, their yields. Um. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Uh, I mean, I can buy anything else, so, I mean, I can sell you some stuff. Uh, maybe I should. You have a good head for business, haven't you? Yeah, no, these look just too stupid. Maybe no one can say stuff. I don't keep a stack shelf. <laughs> that is acceptable. Twenty-seven, thirty-one. Yes, that's fine. That way. 33, 27. Oh. <laughs> it always looks so stupid. Um, Necker, I had something else, right? 29. Imperial target does extra damage. I don't even know what that means. And yeah, it's an ugly ass scarf. But I'll I'll take it. Twenty four offense. Okay. Hey, yeah, we're back to a normal robe. No outfits, okay. And I will sell the rest. It. You're after something fresh. Mm -hmm. And now I can buy some more stuff. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. 
You'll need to save up a bit more for that, I'm afraid. Ah, that's okay. I don't mind. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Okay, let's see if we can go to our special place. Um... in the room of requirements and then we can set up like this bank of all the pots these, and they will keep growing every 10 minutes but yeah um, ocean station and we can Put in more apology. Yes. Lick. Lick. That seems fine. Detany seeds. Uh, Awakened Wild Potion, Mellow Sweet, Mandrake, Nodgrass, Venomous Tech. Hey, I had more. What? How do I change the pot size? Um, there's a small pot. Um, be gone. So I need something with large pots. Small pots, small pots, small pots, small pots, small pots. Medium pots. Large pots. Purchase from domes and scrolls. Ah, shit. I just wasted all my money. Mellow Sweet as well, so um, see if I can get like the uh, worst Wiggins Old Potions, Edurus, Maxima, Leeds Chews, Hook Sweet Stems. Yeah. I mean, if I have them, let's see how much the things cost. Because I might just have to go on the quest first. Um, where was it? Tomes and scrolls. No? Um, was it tomes and scrolls? And scrolls, yes. Let's just go see how much they cost. Like, maybe they're super cheap. Um, am I going the right way? I am not. Tomes and scrolls. Ah, it's always nice to see a familiar face. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Mm-hmm. Oh, 
Jesus. Medium potion station. Uh, a potting table with five small pots. That could be useful. What will a medium pot use its pot to grow all sorts of magical? Yes. Two medium pots. Three medium pots. Three small pots. Potting table with one large pot. One thousand. Hmm, 1,000. Well, at least 1,000. Okay. Let me know if there's that. anything else I can do to help. I mean, I don't really have a choice, so... <laughs> I kind of have to live with it. Um, right, let's see if I can get a little bit closer. Or if I have to use my... Okay. I might actually just walk there and gather up supplies along the way. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. This just could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Like this. I think I've been here before. Yeah. I already killed them. So they do respawn. It's good to know. Can I find some stuff, please? Leasing flies. Oh, what's that sound? Oh, that's I Rebellion. didn't mean to do that. Oh, Wigan Belt Potion. That's perfectly fine. Blue leather gloves. Revenia. Oh, my can I jump on here? Oh, come on, let's go. They're usually three. Yeah. Find duck flubber rubber. Okay, oops. Whoops. So strong. Ooh, 
Ooh, magic on lights. I wonder what could be here. Ooh. Let's take the flame first. Hello. What's up? Hello? Hello. What do you mean? I'm right in front of you. Are you in some sort of trouble? Nearly attacked by wolves, I was. Only just escaped with my life. I need to be better prepared next time. Could use some thunder brew. I don't suppose a student like yourself would be in possession of such a thing? No. I don't have any, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm afraid not. I'd help you if I could, but I don't actually have anything with me. Well, that is unfortunate. I was hoping you'd be better prepared. Hmm. Not Why? Bone in their body. You can also be better prepared yourself, no? Revelio. Let's see if you have anything to steal. No, I don't think so. Hello. Do you have anything for sale? That I do. But uh, what's a student like yourself doing out here? Got yourself lost, did you? That's none of your business. I needed a little rest from classes. Can't stay in the castle all the time. No, of course not. Never meant to imply otherwise. <laughs> Bit of a wanderer myself, in fact. The name's Leopold Babcock, and I am indeed here to sell. <laughs> now. For someone like yourself who is also prone to wander, I cannot understate the importance of keeping some Wiganweld potion on hand. I wouldn't dare set foot in a place like the Forbidden Forest without a steady supply. What do you say, my young friend? A measure of safety for the path ahead? Something to consider. Thank you for your help, Mr. Babcock. Aye, let me know if you see something you like. Uh, yeah, sure. What do you have for sale? Just to see, like, see what if he actually sells. Ooh, different broom, chomping cabbages. Oh, he sells mandrakes. That's nice. That's been a pleasure. Yes. Is this one of the Merlin trials? <laughs> That's what it looks like. What's this? I think I only have one left. Could it be a Merlin trial? I didn't touch your helm. But thank you for making me a first object of your suspicion. I'm my friends are now, don't I? Okay. What to do? What to do? Oh, here's just another one of these balls. Huh. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Come on, in the hole. In the hole. You can do it. In the hole. Incendio. Come on, in the hole. Can you please just do as you're told? Really? So now you're just stuck? Like this. You were moving just fine earlier. 
Come on. Why won't you go in? That moves it. That's that. Settled. We did it. Nice. Okay, so that's how we can do the other one as well then. Hey, I've done this one before. Uh, yeah. Hello? You can come here. Stop avoiding me! Confringo! Stupid Anyone else here? Rebellion. Fine, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, I saw. I mean, what should I do with them? Don't know what to do with them. Pavelio. Well, um, why would it send me all the way back? Oh, a troll. Should I? I mean, why not, right? Jesus. 
so much now. Tickets. Really cool. Ah. And let's just get up there for now. Hmm. Mushrooms? more of this stuff. Huh. Oh, it's all the way down. Ah, let's leave this for later. Let's get the flame first. Intriguing pace, San Bacar's tower. Lovely view, I'd imagine. No idea who this Bacar is, mind you. Okay. We're not alone. We are not. Ranrock's loyalists. Around a dozen, I can see, but could be more. Can't we operate past them into the tower? We could, but we've no idea what's in the tower. More importantly, however, I'd like to know why they're here. They've set up camp just ahead. I suggest we investigate a little before doing anything else. Let's go. Well, this isn't ideal. No, it isn't. Investigate this the way. And goblin I'd presence. suggest we use the disillusionment charm here. Mm. No sense in announcing our arrival. You haven't had mushrooms. This one, right? What my mother used to make. Like heads of lettuce, so much. Quickly now. Um, because petrification to towers, this will permanently capture our beacon. Reaching an enemy undetected allows you to cast petrificus to towers. This will permanently incapacitate a weaker enemy or significantly damage a stronger one. 
I don't have Petrificus Totalus. Stay hidden and cast Petrificus Totalus. I don't have that. <laughs> Done. That wasn't it. I don't have Petrificus Totalus, do I? Is it one of these? No, Rebellio, Ancient Magic, Protego, Stupefy, Petrificus Totalus. Oh, okay. Apparently, I do. Do I have to be behind them? Oh, no, 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 no. There must be something here. Ramrock said so. Turn around. Okay, and they just take it just like that. The guy here. Do it. Okay. We got one more here. Oh, let's go. He's so nice to turn his back We're to. We're close to a breakthrough. I can feel it. Sure thing, bro. These two. Someone. Someone's here. Uh, 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 Didn't hear or see anything. More wigan welds. Hmm. Orders directly from Ranrock. These orders indicate that they're after something to do with names. What names? And why here? Search the tower and the surrounding area. Look for anything to do with the names. What you find here could be the key to common kind finally taking its rightful place in the world. Okay. Oh. I will draw blood. Uh, goblin silver. That's not good. You die instantly, please. There you go. You too. Die. Oh, I can also go to my... Uh... Nice. Too fucking easy. Oh, shit. 
Too easy. You people are no match. I mean, you goblins are no match for the awesomeness Pavilion. that is my wall. Looks like we found the entrance. Yeah. It's locked. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> An unlocking charm. Very handy. No time now, but if you don't learn it soon enough, we can work on it back at the castle. Everything, bro. I wonder who this is. With ropes like that, it could be anyone. He is a wizard. Mm, nothing special it seems. I imagine these brooms have been enchanted for centuries. Never Welcome to San Bacar's Tower. Level three. Are we supposed to be here? Hello, Professor. Did you say San Bacar's tower? I did. Professor Bacar is a keeper you have yet to encounter. I'm glad to see that I was correct in presuming that we would meet again soon after our last encounter. Though I surmise, based on the commotion I heard, that you did not have an easy time getting to me. We did not, Professor. We encountered goblins outside the tower. That goblins were aware of my vault is disquieting enough. But if they have also made a connection to this tower, then the threat may be greater than I thought. All the more reason for us to move forward. Downstairs, near the entry, a reservoir of ancient magic, like those you've seen before, has been unlocked. Commanded to access a doorway. I'm afraid I cannot say more. As Professor Fig cannot join you, he and I will, in time, see you back at the map chamber. Remember what you see. We're going to need to understand how Ranrock's loyalists knew about a tower that once belonged to a keeper. For the moment, however, you've more important things to set your mind to. A reservoir of ancient magic, I believe? Yes, sir. Then I shall leave matters in your increasingly capable hands. That said, be careful. I will, sir. I'll see you back in the map chamber. Opa. Bye. The reservoir of ancient magic. Downstairs near the entry. Confringo. That didn't work. Revelio. Why why would I drink? What the hell's going on here? I guess we are on our own now. Revelio. We seem to be still in the same location because we can see the enemy still. Enter the first trial. I've seen this before. In Gringotts and the restricted section. Revelio. 
What are these things on the sides? Is it another combat trial? I mean, I'm good at combat trials. Impressive. That must have done something. Best have a look around. Oh, hey. What? nice are we underwater again Should have been fine, you know. Although that's way cooler, like this. And they're gonna come alive. More traces of ancient magic. Something must be different. Assuming there's not going to be anything here. These are never a welcome sight. At least I know what to expect this time. Um, sure. Easy. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff here. What have the keepers planned for me? Is it on a timer? Come on, run. Jesus. Let's go! It's nothing on the other side. Ooh. Up. These look familiar. Puzzle. Yeah, they do. Um. I mean, like this. This. Oh, nice. Oh, there's a chest over there as well. Uh, 
Um, okay. Wait, is that it? All we have to do. What happens if we? What did that burst of magic do? Perhaps I should examine things from both sides of the archway. Yeah. Now we can jump and jump. Okay. <sighs> More statues. More fighting, I don't mind. Uh, what's it gonna be? You? Like this? easy on me I don't know I don't have too much trouble dealing with them uh, wait why can't you just I presume I'm looking for traces of ancient magic but where Right here. Oh. There's something. Here that isn't. Seems I ought to explore this archway from both sides. Oh, what? What the fuck? If this is uh, the idea, what did that burst of magic change on both sides of the archway? Something must be different. Stop it. Now? But how are we gonna get on? I need to see how the room changes when I move in and out of the archway. Yes, yes. Not being so dramatic. It's here. Uh, can I get on from this side? A little bit more. Uh, so that's it. 
I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. Yes, 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 yes. On spoilers. There we go. And can I? Yes. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's just okay. Never mind. So I could have done it before. I was just not. Uh... I didn't know that was actually the idea. Never get used to these floors. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? More fighting? He is coming alive. I'm done. What else? Oh my god, that scared me. Back, maybe? No idea. I do like the trials, though. They're really cool. Open sesame. What was that? It's 
so many Wiganwell potions. Hello, guys. <laughs> I was not in range. Shit. Well, that didn't go very well.
game is like don't know why wanna let me I just can't. Can destroy it. Like what the fuck? What a relief. Yeah, that was stupid. Oh wow. Hello. Another pensive. Let's take this thing first. Figure the world around you is remarkable. What is it? My father isn't getting better. I don't think he'll ever recover from the death of my brother. It is agonizing to see those we love suffer. The drought was years ago. But the pain of losing him is as deep for him now as if it had happened only yesterday. He doesn't need pretty pillars, he needs peace. What if I could help him, Professor? You do so much for your father already. It's not enough. I want to take away his pain. It is tempting, I know, to use this magic that you're mastering to transfigure more than the physical world. But human emotion is a potent force unto itself. Even the most well-meaning and competent witch cannot possibly know the consequences of irrevocably manipulating it. So I'm to watch as my father's pain destroys him. It is not your pain to take. Every year, a student sees something sillier than I could ever imagine in their tea leaves. Oh, Miss Morgana, welcome back to Hogwarts. Professor. That's going to take some getting used to. Mm. Professor Rickwood. I was so pleased to hear that you'd accepted the position of Defense Against the Dark Arts, Professor. Sit, sit, Isadora. Tell us about your travels. I was actually hoping that you and the others might join me at my home this evening. There's much I'd like to share with you. That would be delightful. We shall let the others know. Very well. I shall see you then. Oh god, did she revive her death anyway? Uh, revive. I mean, like, oh, uh... Another memory. Like... Now to find a way out of here. Like, made them forget about... thing? Is that what she did? More crystallized stone. That must be the way back to the map chamber. Oh, 
Oh, hello, Professor Fig. What have we here? I'm a student at Hogwarts, sir, and this is Professor Fig. Professor Charles Rookwood at your service. Has someone completed the first trial? I have, Professor Rookwood. Hmm. Someone. I've seen you before, yeah, in the vision when uh, talking in the room to the young girl. We warm saw girl. you in the pensive in Gringotts with Professor Rackham. Indeed. So, you found the port key to access Professor Rackham's vault, and you deciphered the map within the locket you found floating above that pensive. I did. I found something that I can't identify floating above the last pensive. Ah, yes. You will find a similar artifact in each trial. You must take care to keep them safe. You will need them to complete the journey we have set forth for you. Once you have them all, we will tell you what to do with them. Very well. Are you able to tell me anything about the next trial? Before you proceed, I would like to speak with Charles regarding the urgent situation involving the goblins. The goblins? The student has seen traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. They and their mentor, Professor Fig, not only encountered goblins lurking outside of San Bacar's tower, they also encountered a powerful goblin in my vault at Gringotts. Hmm. I'm afraid it would be wise to halt the trials until we know more. We shall defer to you in this matter, of course. Now then... Wait, Professor. The name Rookwood, do you think... That there's a connection to Victor? Perhaps. But we can't be sure of its significance, if any. For now... Tell me what you saw in the pensive. Before the witch from the last pensive, Isadora, became a Hogwarts professor, she argued with Professor Rackham about using magic to remove pain. Hmm. Hopefully the next pensive provides more context. For now, we should learn what Ramrock knows. I will be honest. I've no idea where to start. Actually, I might know of someone. I saw Serona at the Three Broomsticks speaking to a goblin once. They seemed friendly. Well, it's worth a try. See what you can find out. Of course, don't forget... My studies, yes, sir. Uh, before you go... Yes, before I go. What? Professor? Have you encountered swirling traces of magic in the world? Uh, Aside from those along our path. Mm, Not yes. that I recall. What are they? Evidence yes, of the Keeper's efforts to manipulate the power of ancient magic during our time. If I am correct, and I usually am, you should be able to use them to inform and enhance your own magic. Yeah, we already Thank have. You, sir. We found one I of them. I will look out for them. available so this is a good time to take a break so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye